You know what, buddy? I tell you what, we'll take it one step further. We will take this one step further. Instead of letting all the truckers take a day off, just let the ones that deliver gas take a day off. And then you let everyone who goes to work in their own car, every single American who goes to work in a car, take the day off. No. You know what? Take two days off. In two days, the entire economy will choke up, spit, and shit. Somebody will go do something, and something will happen. Because you got that fruit there sitting on the dock. You got the roads empty. Only the truckers on the road. Except the ones delivering gas. And for one whole day, Truckers take a day off. Right before that 24 hours is up, then the people take two days off. Then we see what happens. Two days, back to back. No, that's three. Truckers take a day off, and the people take two days off. Airlines. Don't fly nothing for two days. Shut it all down. You take two days off. If every airline took two days off, you know how much money they would save taking a day off a week? If they're going to treat us like idiots at the pump and we have a strategic, strategic, a, a strategic oil reserve, we're pumping oil out of Texas, Hell, in California, they pump oil off the coast and the state of California don't get one dime of that money. But yet and still, the oil people in office, I mean, uh, the people in office are allowing this to happen. Now, if these oil companies have a half a lick of cents, they would have did what the film companies did. You know, Kodak and all these people. They didn't think that digital cameras would ever be big. When you think it would have been in Kodak's best interest to start building hard drives, strictly for cameras, miniature hard drives, and when you think it would be in the oil baron's best riches to create something that runs off a of drip of oil instead of a barrel of oil, they got a snookered, bamboozled, and fooled and yet and still, they'd rather fleece us, bleed us, instead of giving us the benefit of the doubt. I hate to have to say this. Get off that Arab dick. Sorry. You know, stop sucking their oil up out of them. You got these people over there with their pants down, skeeting oil in our faces. I know I'm saying that and it sounds kind of sick, but think about it. Picture somebody in desperate need for something, and at the last gasp of hope, they get on their knees to do the unspeakable, just to get what they need, and that's exactly what we're doing. We are on our knees, tears running down the side of our face, mouth wide open, waiting to take it. And that's nasty. We need to shut this motherfucker down. I'm sorry. And somebody else pointed out something to me, but I won't say it in this video because that's very sinister. We need to have a total strike. Period. You understand what I'm saying? Truckers one day, and then the next day, the only trucks going out are the ones delivering gas people the next two days. Can you imagine? Doot, 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 doot. Domino's Pizza, no, we're not delivering today. Why? Gas prices are too high. To deliver one pizza three blocks costs us eight dollars. And we have our own employees driving the cars. If you want a pizza, come pick it up. UPS. 
Next day air is supposed to be eighteen dollars now. You know, this is stupid. The price of food is going up. Oh, let me tell you, somebody said something about the corn prices. Corn is the price of corn is going up because of ethanol. We don't fucking use ethanol in America. We we don't got no damn ethanol stations downtown. Someone told me we will not be using this alternative gases until they can get the alternative gases to cost $4 a, a gallon. What's the whole point of having something alternative if you're going to charge what you're charging now? You might as well just give it to us for free. You're charging us for everything else. Drop something somewhere else so we can afford this. You know what I'm saying? Give everybody free internet or something. Do something. Do something to counterbalance the fleecing of America. Because you know what? A couple more summers of this shit and people are going to be walking to work. Jobs way far away are going to be given to dumbass people because they're not, can't afford to leave town. Don't have to take a job here. You finna get a job down there? They need a CEO. <laughs> Come on. There's people who have to move out of towns because they can't afford to commute to work. What does that do to a community? when people are losing homes you know it's not just a gas thing and I appreciate the redneck news because without the redneck news come on man how would us rednecks get any news how would us city folk get any news see the real news don't come from New York Los Angeles those are the only two places in America right New York and Los Angeles few spots in Texas where in the hell are we going there's X amount of states but we only cater to two what has the world come to is it all about the ports on each side of the country come on give me a break how stupid do we have to become before you call us dummies the American people are tired of this Record-breaking oil revenue. Hell yeah, they're breaking records. At $4.30 a gallon for the cheap shit, if you don't break a record, come on, man, they've been having a record price. Remember Enron? Enron. Once Enron collapsed, they helped the gas people. To, you know, it's like, okay, we beat the shit out of them on electricity. And now we're caught. Let that shit go. Let's beat the shit out of them on gas now. Don't just get tired of this shit. Get fucking mad. I'm sorry, Redneck News. You're not making fucking people mad enough. We all need to take a strike. Everybody. Shit. $4.20 a fucking gallon of gas. That's fucking insane. Put in the 20, don't even, man. Man. I was hoping my gas tank had some air in that motherfucker or something. It's got to be wrong. Something's wrong with this. Something, something. This can't be right. You got me ranting. That's fucked up, man. I can't watch the redneck news no more. They got me on a rant. I, you know? Father, why did you send me this tape? I mean, why, why did you send me this video knowing I would flip out? I got to drive to work. If everybody at every job in America took two days off on a Monday and a Tuesday, you know what? Take it off Tuesday and a fucking Wednesday. You know what? Take off Thursday and Friday. And see what happens. Take off the two money, take off two money days in a row. The entire America. Go to your front door right now. Open that motherfucker up and scream, I'm mad as shit and I'm not going to take it anymore. Wait a minute. Is that the window or the door? You know what? That's how we're, uh, we, we're at that point right now. You know what? I said I was going to stop talking. You got me on a rant. Gas prices suck. Fuck that. Bye. I'm gone.